Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Ars Magna Lucas E.T. Umbri, The Great Art of Light and Shadow, is a 1646 work by the Jesuit scholar Athanasius Kircher. It was dedicated to Ferdinand IV, King of the Romans, and published in Rome by Lodovico Grignani. A second edition was published in Amsterdam in 1671 by Johann Janssen. 33 Ars Magna was the first description published in Europe of the illumination and projection of images. The book contains the first printed illustration of Saturn, and the 1671 edition also contained a description of the magic lantern. 15 Ars Magna Lucas E.T. Umbri followed soon after Kircher's work on magnetism. Magnus, Sivda Arte Magnetica, 1641, and the title was a play on words. In his introduction, Kircher notes that the word magna alluded to the powers of the magnet, so that the title could also be read, The Magnetic Art of Light and Shadow. The work was well known for several decades. 101 Content Ars Magna is the first of Kircher's works to follow a symbolic structure. It consists of 10 books, represented as the 10 strings of the instrument with which the psalmist praises the Lord in Psalm 143. 15. The 10 books also have a Kabbalistic significance, betokening the 10 spheros. 23. Kircher dealt comprehensively with many different aspects of light, including physical, astronomical, astrological, and metaphysical. He discussed phenomena such as fluorescence, phosphorescence and luminescence, optics, and perspective. 101. He also described pareidolia. The work deals first with the sun, moon, stars, comets, eclipses, and planets. It also discusses phenomena related to light, such as optical illusions, color, refraction, projection, and distortion. The work includes one of the first scientific on phosphorescence and the luminosity of fireflies. He devoted much care to descriptions of instruments such as sundials, moon dials, and mirrors that make use of light. He had written extensively on these subjects in an earlier work, the Primitii Nominitii Catroptricae. Kircher also discussed the magic lantern. He is sometimes incorrectly credited with inventing this device. 13 in the section Cosmometria Mnemonica, Kircher set out to show how, by measuring sunlight and shadow, it was possible to measure the universe itself. He estimated the depth of the Earth's atmosphere, the distance between the moon and the Earth, the diameter of the sun and its distance from the Earth. The book concludes with a verse. Disperges radii on ni me fulgenibus umbras ut tua sit mea lux lux mea sit tua lux. Disperse the shadows of the soul with splendid rays, so that your light be mine and my light yours. 72 illustrations ars magnus lucas et umbri contained 34 engraved plate illustrations. 50 the illustration of Saturn was a woodcut. The planet was represented as a sphere with two nearby ellipses, as the existence of the rings had not yet been discovered in 1641. By the time the second edition was published in 1671, it was understood that Saturn had rings and not two large satellites, but Kircher did not correct the illustration, and it was reprinted unchanged. 130 Frontispiece The Frontispiece for the book by Pierre Miat combines the physical, metaphysical, and allegorical qualities of light. 101 It depicts three realms, the divine, the starry, and the earthly. In the divine realm, the name of God appears in the Hebrew tetragrammation, surrounded by the nine orders of angels. Immediately below this are represented the two highest means by which humans can understand God's plan, sacred authority, octoritas sacra, and reason, ratio. 23 to 28 in the center of the starry realm below is a celestial sphere with the signs of the zodiac. On the left side, the sun god, his body marked with the signs of the zodiac that govern the respective parts of the body. He carries a caduceus, a token of Hermes, topped with the symbol of an eye that may denote hermetic wisdom. His feet rest upon the double-headed eagle of the Habsburgs. From the clouds beneath a hand emerges holding a lantern revealing the text of a book, labeled Profane Authority, Octoritas Profana, that is, the writings of ancient pagan philosophers and other authorities. Facing the sun god is the moon goddess, covered in stars and holding a shield which reflects the light of the sun down to the earth below. She holds a staff topped with an owl, symbol of Athena, and her feet rest on a peacock, symbol of Juno. Beneath her a finger points to the fourth source of knowledge, 
the senses, census, represented by a telescope casting an image of the sun onto a sheet of paper. 23 to 28, Ars Magna contained Kircher's own drawings of sunspots. 127 above the earthly level appears the portrait of the Archduke Ferdinand, to whom the book was dedicated. Beneath this, on the left, is a formal garden perhaps demonstrating the life-giving properties of sunlight and of enlightenment. Here the rays of the moon are cast into a moon dial. On the right, a ray of sunlight penetrates the roof of a dark cave, and a mirror casts reflections on the wall of the cave. This is a representation of Plato's famous allegory of the cave. 23 to 28 Universal Horoscope of the Society of Jesus Ars Magna Lucas E.T. Umbri contain many designs for sundials and related devices, including a large fold-out sheet that allowed the user to know the time in every part of the world where the Jesuits had missions. Kircher intended to be of practical use and suggested that it be mounted on wood and then oriented precisely by use of a sundial. The rows at the bottom of the sheet could be cut out and mounted on stiff paper so that it could be rotated to show the hours. The main design is in the shape of an olive tree. When the sheet is hung vertically, with pins placed at the nodes of the tree, the shadows of all the pins align to spell IHS, the logo of the Society of Jesus. 202 Magic Lantern Kircher's unusual depiction of the Magic Lantern has been taken by some critics to mean that he had not actually built one or seen it operate. Since the illustration shows the mirror not properly alighted with the light source and the glass slider appears in front of the lens tube rather than behind it. Some argue that these anomalies are due to mistakes by the Dutch publisher Weisberg. However, others hold that the mechanism would work as depicted and that it was a variant of the normal type designed as an analogistical demonstration of the Neoplatonic metaphysics of light, 66.